On your next road trip, I want you to do this instead of monitoring 5.2 Simplex. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Right after I got my ticket, about a year later, my wife and I took a road trip from Tennessee to Colorado. And that was roughly 24 hours in the car, one way. So 48 hours total in the vehicle. The entire time, I monitored 5.2 Simplex as we drove out to Colorado and as we drove back. Do you want to take a guess at how many contacts I made during that road trip? Well, if your answer is zero, you're wrong. But if your answer is more than one, you're also wrong. I made exactly one contact during that entire road trip. I was so disappointed. I just knew that if I monitored 5-2, there was going to be a ton of other traffic on that while I was on the interstate and traveling. And boy, was I disappointed. So today, I'm going to introduce you to another method that you might want to try on your next road trip. Hamcation is right around the corner, and if you're going to be traveling to Hamcation, this would be a fantastic tool to use. Now, it is APRS related, but it's so easy that even K8MRD can do it. And you don't even need an APRS radio to participate. I could take a radio like this VX6 and use it to uh, participate in this method and have a better chance of making contacts. Let's jump over to the workbench behind me. Let me show you guys how this works in practice and then we'll look at how you can make more contacts using this method. Okay, let me set the stage for you guys real quick. We've got the FT5, which is not capable of voice alert. We've got an FX6, which is not even an APRS radio. And we've got the Kenwood D75 over here on this side, which is capable of voice alert, just like most of your APRS mobile radios are. Now, here's the cool thing. This radio is programmed to 144.390, and it has Tone Squelch. Not Tone, but Tone Squelch set to 100, which the uh, Tone of 100 is used for voice alert with APRS. Now, if I transmit with this radio, which is not voice alert capable, we'll go ahead and send out an APRS beacon real quick. You're not going to hear anything come out of this radio. You can see that it definitely transmitted and was picked up on the D75, but we didn't hear any digital noise come out of the VX6. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to transmit a uh, APRS beacon with the Kenwood, which does have voice alert. When we do, you're going to hear the packet come out of this radio. Let's go ahead and try that now. And there you go. You heard that packet come out of this radio. Now, how can this help you make contacts while you're traveling on the interstate? Okay, so now you know how to set tone squelch in just any old basic radio. If you pass another ham radio operator that is running APRS voice alert, you're going to hear his packet come through your radio. Now, if he's not running voice alert, you're not going to hear that packet. But when you do hear that packet, you can be assured that another ham radio operator is within simplex range of you. And at that point, it's very easy to pick up your radio, any basic old radio, and do a voice transmission on 144.390. Yep, that's right. That's the APRS frequency. But you're going to make a very brief voice transmission on the APRS frequency. Something like KM4ACK on voice alert monitoring 52 simplex. And that's it. You're going to put uh move over to 52 simplex where you can have that quick QSO. It works because you're only going to hear digital packets if someone else is running voice alert and within range, uh, simplex range 
of your radio at that current time. So as everyone is traveling, if you're running APRS Voice Alert, and I highly encourage you if you've got a radio that will do that, to turn on Voice Alert. But remember, keep your volume up on the APRS side because somebody might call out to you. But if you've got that set up, every time your radio beacons an APRS signal, it's basically a CQ call for anyone else that, uh, that is monitoring for the voice alert traffic. Now, don't be confused right here. I've been talking about basic radios and doing this with a basic radio. I'm only mentioning basic radios like this VX6 so that people understand it's possible with basically any radio. If you are running voice alert on an actual APRS radio, if someone makes a call, you're going to hear that on your APRS channel. And that's why it's important for someone to let you know that uh, they're calling out on voice alert or otherwise you might think that they come across maybe a repeater if that's what was on the other side of your radio. You can briefly answer them on 144.390 assuming you are also running that voice alert. Uh, so this works both with basic radios and APRS radios uh, in a very similar fashion. The only difference is it's only the APRS radios that are going to be able to broadcast out that voice alert beacon or that packet. It's an APRS packet. Uh, and because you're running voice alert, it's transmitting that tone of 100. And that's what's going to break the squelch of both other APRS radios and basic radios that people have set up with the tone squelch of 100. Voice alert is something that I've been running for several years now on my radio, and I've made way more contacts with voice alert uh, with APRS than I've ever made on 52 Simplex unless I'm uh, traveling to or from a ham fest. A lot of times, sure, as we get closer to a ham fest site, you're going to hear more traffic on 52 Simplex. But just day to day in my travels, I always keep APRS voice alert on. And I've made multiple contacts, many more contacts that way than I've ever made monitoring 52 Simplex on a random basis. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7 3.